As we continue to explore the functions of our Layer 3 routers, let's go ahead and examine a very, very important topic, and that is, what is the metric? What is that measurement of one particular route being better than another particular route? Here we can see on screen that we have a sample topology with a host A up there in the top right, and right next to me here, a host B. Understand that certain routing protocols are going to analyze this topology in a different way as far as route preference goes. For example, if we look at the routing information protocol or RIP, we know that RIP will use a simple hop count when it utilizes its metric decision. In this particular topology, that's going to mean that RIP will choose this path with this one and two hops for the communications, as opposed to this path below with the one, two, three router hops. The issue with this, notice the bandwidth values displayed in this particular topology. This hop that RIP would prefer has the very, very slow bandwidth of 56K, while this path from host A to host B offers a much preferential bandwidth. So the simplistic RIP gets in trouble here with its metric of that simple hop count by not considering the bandwidth. You might be thinking to yourselves, well, what in the world is going to happen with something like EIGRP, a more sophisticated protocol? It will use, by default, bandwidth and delay in its metric calculation, not only considering these important bandwidth values, but also taking into consideration a delay component that you can configure as the administrator to influence the pathing through the network however you would prefer and not having to manipulate the configured bandwidth values. So folks, when it comes to metrics and our routing protocols, we now know that not all routing protocols are considered equal when it comes to their use of a metric in their best path decision process.